Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And we're just going to touch a little bit more upon doing transformations. And what I want to show is this feature called the Transform Orientations. And this corresponds to what I was showing in the previous bit, which is uh, selecting these views, which you can get to down here to switch between local. Notice how it changes here too. And you can also do alt space to switch your where you're gonna switch your orientation. But one of the neat things you can do on this panel is let's say I've rotated this object like this. And I'm gonna move this off off to the side here. And let me just throw in another cube. I hit the space bar to create another cube. I'm gonna right click select this guy again. And I'm gonna say I want to add this. So what that's going to do is it's going to add this as another op op option for doing <laughs> transformations. You can see this cube is rotated at some off angle here. But let's say I wanted to use that as a transformation for another object like this one. Well, I can select this guy and then click here. And now I can move it along the same angle as uh, what this object was oriented at. Yeah, that's really cool. So, um, it, it's moving as if it was at the same angle as the other cube, except it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a, a quick way to get to, to adding one of these, if, if for example, Let's just switch this back to normal. We're over here. We wanted to create a new one. You can click Add here, or you can do Control Shift C and say Add and use the active object. We'll just say that. And now we can use that for our transformations. And I'll click over here and look at this. Now I can move it along the same direction as this guy. So it's it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's really helpful. Bye. Bye.